As a complex subject, guerrilla marketing may come in different forms. Let's discover the most popular of them and find the differences. Ambush marketing. This is a high-risk strategy, which occurs when a company interrupts an event held or sponsored by another brand. For instance, if your competitor sponsors a local sports event, you can offer winners or attendees valuable prizes. This move lets you get all of the profit from a rival's activity. This tactic creates a memorable occurrence and gives a brand access to the opponent's audience. However, it may cause problems with the law, as event sponsors often have regulated agreements with event organizers. Undercover Marketing This tactic implies making a hidden sale pitch to a prospective customer without them knowing it. The tactic aims at creating buzz and a community around the product. The most well-known example of such an approach is product placement in movies or TV shows. You might have seen your favorite characters drinking a beverage from a specific brand or prone to wear shoes by a famous fashion house. Sometimes marketers get more creative with undercover marketing and come up with an unusual campaign, as Sony Ericsson did. The company hired actors who played tourists. They asked regular people on the street to take their photos with Sony Ericsson mobile phones. Ambient marketing. Perhaps the most popular form of guerrilla marketing is ambient marketing. The term stands for placing a gripping message or imagery in an unexpected place. Hence, ambient marketing takes place fully offline. However, this type of guerrilla marketing doesn't boil down to placing an ad somewhere unexpected. The message itself should be shocking, surprising, and creative. Fashion brand Louis Vuitton showed a perfect example of ambient marketing. It placed a giant installation of a suitcase in Red Square.